Okay, guys, welcome back. So let's see the next breakpoint in our responsive layout is this, right? And there are a couple of things that we need to do. First of all, I'm just going to copy the styles from, um, from this one. And I'm going to paste them oops, right here. So now we have the uh, navigation that's responsive. We gotta get rid of this top nav. So let's do that quickly. Top uh, top add, sorry. So let's see if uh, to, yeah, top add. That's the correct one. Actually, I can just put it right here. Top add display none. Okay. Um, and what else? Let's create some padding for the container element. So I'm going to say container padding zero top bottom two M's left right. Okay. And also we can see that this uh, the page scrolls now because the article container has a fixed width. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Article container fix. We'll set the width to 100%. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is still working. And this is still working. Okay. Okay, okay, what else? Okay, so the widgets on the top, on the bottom, sorry, um, they're kind of messed up. I uh, wonder if it has anything to do with the float. So UL class social icons, and of course, I forgot to add the clear fix. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and let's see it even if we uh, resize this even more. Let's see what's going to happen then. Hmm. Okay. So the menu is still standing strong, but we do have an issue with this, with the article title and also the image. We can uh, we can get rid of the image, and also we have a couple of issues here hmm. with the block quote and the link. Okay, so let's see first about this um, this bit with the article title. So let's go to styles and we'll target this size. It's the very lowest of sizes. Let's see, so this is a H1. H1 inside the header, inside the article. Okay. So I'm gonna say articles, article header, H1. And I just did the whole structure here, just in case we need to come back later and add some more styling to it, to any of these elements. So H1, uh, the problem here is caused by the fixed 
um, by the fixed height, I think. Let's do a quick um, okay. So articles, article header h1, margin bottom, and the line height is 21 pixels. Yeah, the line height is a bit too low. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to change that to one and a half amps. Okay, something like that. Maybe a bit smaller, like one, 1. 1.4 amps, but I'll keep it at one and a half. All right, uh, then I'm going to go ahead and hide the main image. So article preview image, display none. Okay. And that's pretty much done with the first, uh, with the first glitch we had. Next one is this. Uh, the text here is a bit too long. And it kind of um, hits the uh, the icon here. So we can either shorten the text, like you know, work with the uh, the date format, or just get rid of of the icon right here. Hmm. All right, let's shorten the text. Let's see, it's a paragraph with a class of article meta extra. So article header article meta extra and we're going to set the width to about 70%. Mhm. Mm Something like that. But also, there is a problem here because I think we have a fixed height on the element. Yep, height 21 pixels. So why not set the height to auto? Okay, so now we have the spacing below it. Okay, good. Okay, next one is this, uh, the block quote, which um, which shouldn't look like this. Okay, so let's see, let's target the block quote. Actually, we only need to target the block quote inside the quote container, yes? Let me just find that. Category. Okay, so block quote inside the quote container. Good. Okay. So, what is the problem here? Uh, this borrowed some of the styles from the other uh, block quote. And I think that's also, yeah, that's also um, true for, uh, for this page size. So instead of doing this here, I'm going to do it Gonna do it right here. Okay, so quote container, and I'm gonna do the block quote. I'm gonna copy this. Okay.
Well, hold on a sec. Um, this is not correct here because I have a block quote defined all the way to the top of my CSS. And then I have another one defined lower in the page and that should take priority. So why isn't it? Quote container. Oh, okay. No, it's my bad. Um, so we're doing padding left and a bit of margin and a background. All right, quote container. We just have to do this. We have some extra properties, of course. So we're going to say background transparent. Okay, and we're going to do padding zero and margin zero. Okay, so just reset those. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go back to, to our page here. Okay, so the quote looks good. That's fine. Um, this, on the other hand, doesn't really look good because we have a long, a long link. Hmm. So let's see how we can fix this. Well, Let's see, uh, URL container, and then we have a span, which contains the actual link. Meaning this. Well, we can do something like text align center. And then we can do something like word break, break all. And that's gonna break the word and just wrap it on the next line. All right, so I'll, uh, I'm pretty happy with that, even though it, the, the link might look a bit weird, but you know, we can, um, if it's a long link, we can even uh, decrease the font size. So for instance, I can do URL container, span. Yeah, I just do font size like 12 pixels. All right, that's still gonna, that's still gonna uh, push it on the next line. You know what, it's fine. I think it's fine, just like it is. All right. Uh, well, this page seems to look pretty good. Let's see about the other page, which is post. Let's 